Well, hi, Amanda. Um, I'm going to run through a few things here so we could see what possibly could be going wrong. So I'm assuming you're on a Windows machine. Um, I think you said Windows 7. So the first thing we want to check is the flash uh, global settings. So if you go to your start menu here and you look at your control panel, you'll probably see it in this format where it has a block of stuff. What we want to do is go up by view by and go to large icons. And what we're looking for is this flash player 32 bit could say 64 on yours, but you should see something for flash player. When you click on that, you're going to have some settings that you can set for flash. Um, the first thing is storage. We want to be able to allow sites to save information on this computer. Um, if you've already saved things, you can always go by website and you'll probably see learn.maricopa.edu and that should actually say storage use, storage access should be allowed. So that would be the first thing you want to check. Uh, camera and mic. Uh, ask me when a site wants to use the camera or microphone. Um, you can also block, but what you want to check here is again go to camera and microphone settings by site. You sh should see learn.maricopa.edu and you should be able to have it so it is allowed um, and it shouldn't be asking you all the time uh, on those privacy settings. Uh, playback, uh, ask me when sites want to use peer networking, I wouldn't worry about that. And then in advanced, um, you might try the browser data settings. You can delete all and then change those again. Um, you can look and see, uh, check now, make sure you've got the latest version of Flash installed. So uh, let me close that. So you can go through and check that. I know you said you'd already checked, so that's that's all right too. But um, so that's how you get into the settings for the camera and mic. Again, just this is the important one: checking the website learn.maricopa.edu and make sure that it has proper camera access. Um, the next thing that you can do is if you're in, uh, I'm in Canvas, and it's going to look a little different for you because I'm just creating a page. But um, this should look very familiar. The uh, the rich content editor here. So what you're normally doing if you want to record something is you click this, it comes up and it will ask you in Chrome first of all to allow or deny um, a site. You'll see up here as well if you mouse over the page has been blocked from accessing your camera and mic. Since it is allowed, um, you're saying you're seeing it pop up every once in a while, it shouldn't be Chrome that's blocking it but just make sure that you've got um, allow done and you can also click back up here and it will t continue allowing learn.maricopa.edu access to your camera and microphone. It should always be continued um, and you should be able to see your camera and everything like that. And then if you right click on this area this is where we get into the flash settings again. Again these are taken from where we were in um, the control panel here these settings here, when you set them, should stay and should transfer right through to where we're seeing here. So the first thing is, if you look right here, you want to enable hardware acceleration. The next tab over is privacy. Allow learn.miracopa.edu access to your camera and microphone. Allow, and you can say remember, which I think you said you were doing, and it should save that settings again, or it should already be there. Um, local storage. You can try moving this up to 1 meg or a little bit more. You could go up to 10 meg. It could be that your computer is running out of space when it's doing the video and it keeps on wanting to ask you for more storage and that's why it pops up. So try just moving that up to maybe 10 meg and see if that helps. Um, microphone should already be defaulted and then you should see your camera as well. And when you click close, uh, we should be able to go through and see those. And then you should be able to record. Um, I'm doing just the microphone here, click anywhere to stop recording, but um, even with the microphone or the video here, you shouldn't um, see any pop-ups coming up I'm doing at just all. the microphone. Let's go to video camera, connecting, record. Um, this is my video camera. There I am. Um, but again, you should not see anything popping up once you've set those settings both in the control panel and then as well in the um, settings when you right click and you go to the settings. So check those and see how um, it's doing. 
You can always also check in, I'm in Chrome here, and this is the latest version, 37. If you go to the upper right, these three bars right here, this is how you access your menu. If you scroll down and go to your settings, this is gonna give you an overview of all the settings that we were just looking at. So this is your sign-in settings, storage settings, etc. If you go down to the bottom, say show advanced, here's where we get into privacy settings. Um, content settings, uh, use web services, where is, these are all phishing and stuff like that, it's in content settings is what we want. Um, cookies, allow local data to be set, that is the recommended, you want to make sure that is selected. You probably already have show all images, allow sites to run their JavaScript. Um, plugins, make sure that it's run automatically. And then the last one we want to look at is, where is, oh, here we go, microphone. Ask when a site requires access to your microphone, recommended. You can also go in here, go to manage exceptions. Again, you should see learn.maricopa.edu, and it should say allow and allow. Um, and that's on the Chrome side. I'm, I'm assuming it's probably Flash that's giving you the errors, but you just want to check those things, and then you can say done. So those are some things to check. Um, let me know if any of that changes, um, if you're seeing that pop up, and then I can research it a little bit further for you, uh, see maybe if we can find out what's going on, or if maybe Firefox works better. That would be my first recommendation instead of trying to go through all the settings. So let me know what you find.